Up YouTube. So in this video today, I want it to be a bit of a light hearted, almost a laugh, but also let me know what some of the things that you hear of customers that just get your hairs twinging. So this episode is going to be customers' words of dread. Now we'll start the one I heard this morning, well just, just, just last customer I've been to. What are you going to do today? Bit of trampolining. Might have a kip in your bed. Well, no, gardening today. Obviously, you can't say that. But uh, yeah, she's the sort of customer that she's tight. And as I said, I want to see this is a light hearted sort of episode today. Um, she's tight. Her family have told me that she's tight. She said, apparently, this is according to the family, that when she turns the food over in the grill, she turns the gas off. So, you know, she's got to economise. But I don't think she needs to, looking at the house, I think she's just very careful. But especially these first few visits of the season, where she's not necessarily seen the grass going up and everything growing like crazy. She's a bit careful with visits. And I think if, I, if I'd let it, she'd let me do a monthly visit instead of the agreed fortnightly. So yeah, what are you going to do today? It's always that one. I think we'll start with the cliches. So first question they ask, I was talking to Reese about this, is first question you ask, um, as soon as you pick the phone up, it's how much charge an hour? Um, you know, to be hit by a price question straight away. Now, that's, I've had that before, where actually I've turned up, done the quote, and I still work for them now. They're just trying to basically work out a budget for themselves. Uh, and quite often, whenever, I'm probably just as bad, so when I take my car in the garage, or anything, you know, I always want to know in advance what I'm expecting. Is it going to be a big bill, isn't it? Whatever. So maybe I'm, maybe I'm that customer to a mechanic. Who knows? But the cliche ones, I find, you know, words of dread. It's, and as I said, this episode is, you know, a sort of light-hearted one. Let me know some of your sort of words of dread. I think the one as well, and quite often some of them have hidden meanings. So that didn't take you long. That's a common one. That's one where you're thinking to yourself, right, you know, are they keeping sort of, you know, tabs and they're trying to work out an hourly cost? Uh, you know, stuff like that. You're always thinking to yourself, you know, oh, bloody hell, you know, but it is what it is, I suppose, but yeah, that didn't take you long. I think the the other one is, and the, the best one is, uh, could you just, have you got time? Now, I don't mind, if it's a two minute thing, I don't mind, and I put it into perspective. If it's a 20 minute job, and you know, it's two minutes on top, I don't mind. But if it's a 20 minute job, and it's a 15 minute job, often that's probably bigger than the actual job you're doing or more time consuming, then that's when I have to say to her, you know, either put it on as a separate visit, well, not so much a separate visit, because that's a bit overkill, but I probably would look at putting a little bit extra to reflect that. Uh, I did a job today for a lady, and uh, she was putting, uh, she wanted me to put some bird netting over this tree. Long, you know, I don't know why, really, well, I do know why, she doesn't want birds going in it. But I think it's a bit sort of selfish and it makes the tree look awful with all this netting wrapped around it. And uh, But, you know, it is what it is. And I don't mind that. She told me about that at the start. In the end, it ended up turning into a right faff of a job. It took five of us to do it. If I was left on my own, it would have, t it would have been me doing it in about five minutes. But everybody got involved. Everybody had to have an opinion. I'll start from the middle, throw it all over. She bought... For a tiny little tree, she bought a six meter by six meter piece of netting. And she says, well, we'll unfold. No, don't unfold it because we're going to be all on top of each other. It was a total sort of faffy job from the very get go. Uh, but we got it done, all, all five of us and a dog, but on my own. Now, if that job would have been sprung on me at the end, I wouldn't have been too sort of keen to do it. I did put a bit of a price increase on it. I did put a sort of a fiver on, you know, just to round it up. Now for me, five pounds has often been the amount I've lost a customer. 
I've had it twice now, I think it was two years ago, where there was one customer where we had a fixed pricing scheme. It was normally between 35 and 40 pounds per visit. It just so happened this visit was a 40 pound visit. She did question why is there an extra five pounds. I said, well, the price does alter depending on the work. And she just did not like it. And in the end, we ended up parting ways. There's more to that story. I did cover that in a video ages ago. So there is more to it, but that's a brief one. And then another one was um, a customer that I used to look after alone. She was, she was a flaky customer, always, she was unreliable. And Luke used to look after her lawn and then she just, to be fair, she did say, Luke, can you stop coming? Well, the mother told me, because I had to deal with the mother. The mother says, Luke, just leave it for a bit, you know, because she's short of money, no problem. And then it was about three months went by, something daft. And then I went back and I just put an extra fiver on, again, to help, but also to sort of cover my costs. Well, you know, what's an extra fiver? But at this point, it's a token amount. And it's just this text, why is the price gone up? You're ripping me off. <laughs> and it was only like a £25 cut anyway. I was like, so did I explain the fiver is basically to cover the time that we've missed? That, you know, no sort of thanks for you for that, nothing. I think another one as well is a, oh, it's slowing down. There's in the grass. Um, again, normally butted on with, the, it hasn't took you too long. You normally get the next one, which is, could we look at, how, how about, this is a multi-part one. How about I do the lawn one week and you do the lawn another week? Or the other one is, is there, would you be able to do it every three weeks? Now, obviously the one is where customer mows it, you know, after two weeks after I've been. And then I come back and mow it two weeks after she's done it. Or he's done it, or they've done it. Um, all of them ones I will never entertain. I've done it before. Uh, I've entertained them in the past, and they just don't. The customer mows the lawn. Oh, it was raining. Well, I'm here when it's raining. You know, it, it doesn't matter at all. Um, it, it will happen where you, you know they'll do it once maybe, then they'll forget, or they'll go on holiday and then you'll be doing a month's worth of grass at the same price. Same for a free weekly. It's amazing how much, so all of these things where they're questioning the time, they're questioning the amount, it's, all of it is, it, we're just here to make a living. We aren't here necessarily to rip, we're not here to rip you off, that's that's 100%. We're not here, we're just here to, mow a lawn that's it or tidy a border and that's it that's all we want is to come do the work and get paid but when they just do you it's like oh could you do it as a every three weeks well no it affects my schedule i work on a two weekly rolling schedule uh, i only offer fortnightlies or four weekly visits oh well could you do the lawn every four weeks instead no i said i could do but i'll have to adjust the price Oh, well, the grass is slowing down. So I won't go on too much about that, uh, but you know what I mean with people like that. Uh, and it does really wind me up. It just, it's, as I said, we are just gardeners and we are just here to make a living. Another one that I have is when customers only see it from their sort of side of things, not yours. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not expecting customers to look after my interests, my income, you know, I do that, it's up to me. But it's when it's so skewed in their favour and they want it more skewed. So I do fortnightly visits and I'll be honest with you, I normally give them a fortnightly price. So the arrangement is I'll come and I'll look after your garden. Uh, so shrubs, borders, you know, if it's small shrubs, you know, not you know, not a great amount of borders, just a typical garden, I'll give them a price. Obviously, if there's extremes, so they've got massive hedge, you know, uh, stuff like that, then I'll always say, well, the hedge will be done as a separate visit, you know, normally once or twice a year, depending on how many time front it cut. Uh, and that's normally fine. I normally give them a fixed price. So, say for a lady, I'll be like, yeah, it'll be £35 every two weeks where I'll come and I'll look after your property, basically maintain it to the standard. Uh, 
and keep on top of it and that's fine and that works for me but what it doesn't work for me is when people start changing so oh, could you do it as a visit every three weeks no because the price it's priced for two weeks of maintenance oh okay okay and then they'll ring it up and cancel i think this is just turning into ranting about customers and i don't mean to rant over the years i started so when i first started my business i thought i had a good set of customers and then the next year next year you know as we've gone on i've looked back every single time at them customers and i thought to myself god you know they were awful people um, and even more so now i can look back fully and i just think to myself god you know some of them were really terrible customers they're either terrible customers uh just not nice people or they were terrible you know nice people but with a terrible garden and i just think to myself you really don't have to put up with that i think all of these ones that i've mentioned have got a sort of a hidden meaning behind it so when people say about uh, oh you're quick today or not, not much to do today well, as a gardener, you won't be there if there's nothing to do. So, but quite often I think there's a hidden meaning behind it. It's that I want it to be a fortnightly. And I think some people, once they've got it into the head, that's how they want it to be. And they can't understand when it's basically anything different than what it is. But as overall, you don't have to work. Well, you don't. It's, it's hard because I say... If you've got people that are bad, get rid of them. But in reality, it's easier said than done. Quite often, you sort of have to put up with people. You have to put up with them for a time being, especially when you're first starting your business, because it's a case of, well, you know, you need the money, you need the footfall coming in. But this is my fourth season. And when I look at the, the grade of customers I've got now and the people, people who really want to help your business, by the way, people who really want to help you grow as a business as well and grow as a almost like a person because it does it's money helps so much not just you know the readies for the weekend it helps you get better equipment it helps you you know put money away for your, a better van it helps you put money away for training and I think good customers who pay well help you to do that um, they really do it does for me I always invest a lot back into myself and my business I've not done it for a few years and I'll be honest with you I'm a bit remiss with myself um, I used to do a, every year I used to do a training course so I used to you know I did my chainsaw one year my PA1 PA6 another year uh, what else have I done I did my online wasp course still got to do something with that uh, and doing other online training um, e every year I did one of something to help you know me and my business grow and I've not done it for a bit I suppose I did some online courses for the water you know for the exterior cleaning but by and large I haven't done as much as I really should have done uh, and that's going to change this year again I want to sort of push uh, my sort of skill set tippers online did a free at their centers they did a free installation course of uh, astroturf and I, I missed it i'm going to ring them up and see if they're still doing it but i missed it by a day i looked at it at the start of the week and i forgot about it and then it did, they did the course in my local area this week and i really wish i would have gone on it and it was only a half an hour course uh, but they show you the installation they show you the maintenance I have no hopes or desires of ever fitting, uh, you know, that I don't want to do, I don't want to be an AstroTurf fitter, but knowing how it goes together and how to maintain it from people, it is a skill set that I would like to have in my business. So we started talking about customer groans and we've gone on to Summit House, but I hope this video has helped you. Have a good day guys.